Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another slow cooker recipes video for you. So as you may know, I absolutely love using my slow cooker or my crock pot. I just find it really convenient. I love the fact that you can just throw things in there and usually everything turns out okay. I never seem to manage to burn anything in there. So that for me is already onto a winner when it comes to cooking. I love the convenience of it as well. And while we're at home, I just love to throw things in there in the morning and then by the evening, there's always a really tasty evening meal. So today I'm going to be taking you through everything that I've been making for dinners for this week. So I've got lots of different recipe ideas for you. So if you're a fan of the kind of quick and easy, sometimes just opening packets, chopping up a few vegetables, throwing it all in kind of approach, then hopefully you'll enjoy these recipes as well. So before we jump into it, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy these slow cooker recipes, then do give this video a thumbs up. All of these recipes are quite cheap as well. So great if you're on a budget, most of them only cost two or three pounds to make. So I really hope you enjoy them. Let's get into the video. So today I wanted to do like a spaghetti bolognese or a pasta dish but I didn't have any mints or any vegetarian mints. So I think what I'm going to do is use this um, Dolmio bolognese sauce as the base. Then I'm going to add some mixed pulses and some sweet corn. And also I'll throw in a few of these chopped onions that I had in the freezer. And I'll chop up a little bit of chorizo as well to give it a bit more flavor. 2 a.m. in the car playing my favorite song. Give that a quick stir around and then we'll leave that to do its thing. I'm going to pop this one on to low and leave it for a few hours. So this has had a few hours. What I'm actually going to do now is add the pasta straight into it and let that cook. So I'm just going to stir the pasta in and I'm going to whack that up onto high and leave it for another hour or so. If it's not cooked, you can always pop this in the oven and do like a bit of a pasta bake, but just leave it on until the pasta's soft. And that's had about another 30 minutes or so, and as you can see, the pasta's already gone nice and soft. Oh, by the way, I threw in a bit of extra spinach earlier that I had just in the fridge that was about to go off, so I just threw that in while I was there. And then you can just throw some grated cheese onto that, or have it with some salad, or just as it is. So for this, I'm using these Gree Thai chicken stir fries. I got these in the reduced fridge at Lidl, so they were only 90p each. So what I'm going to do is brown all of this off in the frying pan. And then while that's browning off, I'm going to add a tin of chickpeas into the slow cooker that I've already rinsed, and also a tin of coconut milk. I'm also adding the sachets of the Thai chicken sauce that came with the kit. And now I'm going to add in the chicken from the pan that's now browned off a little. And just mix that in. And this is going to cost roughly, I think with the reductions, this will probably add up to three pounds, which I think is really good. So we're just gonna whack that onto a low heat and leave that for a few hours to do its thing. And then I'll probably serve this with some microwavable rice. I've got this one which is whole grain rice with quinoa. Just ready in two minutes, so really quick and easy. And I just want to show you a quick hack that Lara Jarvis um, showed on her Instagram. You guys will have seen I recently collaborated with her here on YouTube recently for our IKEA videos. I'll link her channel in the description so you can go and check her out if you haven't done so already. And what you can do with a packet when you put it into the microwave is pull it apart at the base. I had no idea this was a thing. So it's such a good little hack. So I'm really pleased that Lara shared this. So you pull those bits apart and then you can flatten the 
base out. And that means that you can stand it up a little bit easier and it will sit really nicely in your microwave. Genius. I've got some baking potatoes here. You get four in a pack for 50p in Morrison's. So I'm gonna whack those in. So I've just given them a rinse and cut off any bad bits. And then I'm just going to stab them all with a fork. And then I'm gonna go on with some olive oil. Calling sick in the morning. make sure they're all coated and that's it I'm just gonna whack those onto high to do their thing and here are the potatoes after a few hours what I like is that they do go quite crispy not on all the sides but you do get that and then you can always pop them in the oven if you want them extra crunchy on the skins and then I've simply gone on with an absolute classic we've got cheese and beans. So for this I've put two chicken breasts into the slow cooker and I'm just going to add a jar of the korma cooking sauce that you can pick up in Lidl. I think this is literally around 50p, maybe a little bit less. So I'm going to add that in and then what I do is just add a tiny drop of water into the jar and then give it a really good shake and that will loosen up all of the sauce and you can use much more of it. You can of course use diced chicken breast for this, whatever you fancy, maybe some chicken thighs is always nice as well, or if you're vegetarian you could go for some chickpeas, maybe some chopped up sweet potato. And so all I do now is put this on too high and then I'll leave that to do its thing. So this has been on a few hours now, as you can see it's bubbling away and the chicken breasts have gone nice and soft. And I just go in and separate the chicken with a wooden spatula. I just use a wooden one so it doesn't damage the slow cooker. And I separate all the chicken and stir that in. And you can add some chopped onion, some garlic, whatever you like to this. You could bulk it out with some chickpeas as well, but I think that's gonna be perfect. And all I do is serve this with some microwave rice. You can do any rice that you like. I'm going for this five whole grains microwavable one. And you could also maybe add some naan bread as well if you fancy it. We're out here wild and free. So these have been on for I would say four to five hours now, so they've done really nicely. They've started to brown off on top as well. And then into the oven, I'm just going to throw in some chopped up parsnips, baby potatoes, and I think they're called shante carrots, baby carrots, whatever. And I'll throw these into the oven for about 30 minutes, and I'll add the chicken thighs in the last 15 minutes just to brown those off a little. So I've taken the chicken thighs out of the slow cooker and I've added some salt and pepper and some of this easy garlic that I picked up in Lidl. And then into the remaining juice, in the slow cooker I just add some gravy granules. I've literally just got these savers ones from Morrison's. And I'll just throw that in and then add a little bit of hot water. Mix that around and it will make a lovely gravy. And then you can just leave this on warm and it will be ready to help yourself to when you want to serve your dinner. And this is how the vegetables are looking after 25 minutes. And there we go, dinner is served. Of course you could throw on some greens onto here as well if you wish and I'll be adding some gravy as well. So for the past two days I've had IKEA meatballs. This has been reheated today and if you want to see how to make these then the full recipe is on the Come Dine With Us video which I will link for you in the description box. But they're quite easy to make and I made them with some mashed potato. You also have the recipe for the sauce in that video which is delicious. I've also added some tinned peas that I just did in the microwave and some gravy. I've already got some sweet potato and some carrots on the go in there and I've just added some sausages. I'm gonna go in with some of the sausage casserole mix. I might add an onion as well and maybe some mushrooms. I'll pop those in a bit later though because I think the sausages need to cook for a bit. 
And this is the sausage casserole. What I did was actually put this in the oven and added the onion and mushrooms when it went into the oven for like 20 minutes just to brown it all off a little so bit. Much. There we go, I really hope you enjoyed these slow cooker recipes. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be trying any of these yourself. And if you've got any recipes that you think I should try, nothing too complicated please, but anything that you think I'll be capable of, I would love to hear them down in the comments as well. So feel free to leave me them down there. I'd love to hear what things you've been making in your slow cookers or crock pot or whatever it is that you like to call it. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram where I post stories every day over on Mr. Carrington. And I've also got my home account so if you'd like to have a little look around my home and the things that I've got in my home then that is where you'll find those as well and it'd be great to see you over there too. So thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!